it's certainly possible, as today's analysis shows, that we could be running the system very tight this winter, and incidentally even tighter the winter after that. But industry will be doing everything possible to help manage its demand to, so that this bad situation isn't made any worse than it needs to be. And industries like steel and chemical manufacturers, if they've got flexibility in when they can use their power, will use it off-peak if they can and try and reduce the demand on the system when it's under stress. Could be fine, though, couldn't we? We could be all right if we have relatively warm weather like we're enjoying at the moment, an unusually mild uh, end to autumn. If that carries on through, through the winter and there are no failures uh, of any of the plant uh, in power generation, then we may be lucky, particularly if the wind blows as well. But as we know from the past, we can have prolonged cold snaps when the wind uh, level around the British Isles is, and northwest Europe, in fact, is very low, so we get very low output from the heavily expensively subsidised uh, wind turbines. Uh, which produce a lot of energy on average, but not necessarily when we need it. And that's when we could be in trouble. And just to clarify, um, uh, domestic consumers could find themselves in a position where they are subsidising big business? Uh, I wouldn't quite put it like that. If they were, it would certainly be a problem. What, what we're faced with is a situation where we have a lack of generating capacity, potentially, uh, and if it's cheaper to get industry to reduce its demand than it is to get more capacity on the system, burning gas or coal to keep the lights on, then it will actually be cheaper for the, uh, for the domestic consumer and other businesses than the alternative. But, of course, we shouldn't be in this situation in the first place. And uh, energy-intensive businesses, uh, other manufacturing companies, and domestic consumers alike, we, need, we all need secure energy supplies and we need to get going fast in building replacement gas-fired power stations and in the longer run nuclear to re replace the older plant that's coming to the end of its life.